The Black Death The Black Death, also known as the bubonic plague, was one of the most horrifying pandemics in human history. Sweeping through Europe and Asia in the mid-13th century, it claimed the lives of an estimated 25 million people, which makes almost a third of the continent's population. The disease caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis was spread by fleas living on rats. Infected individuals suffered from swollen lymph nodes, high fever, chills, and black patches on the skin due to internal bleeding. The Europeans and Asians had no rational explanation for what was causing the disease and how it was spreading while the death toll was rising rapidly. Some scientists suggested that the infection was transmitted through the mere touching of clothes alone, but as the situation worsened, people started believing that instant death could happen if the spirit leaving the body of a sick man looks at the healthy man anywhere near it. And so came the time when doctors refused to see patients, monks refused to teach their disciples, and the priests suddenly preferred seclusion as well. Paranoia was at its peak as the number of deaths kept increasing, and shockingly, there were instant deaths where people would go to bed and die without showing any symptoms. The Deadly Ebola Ebola is a highly feared disease due to its severe symptoms and high mortality rate of 50%. Caused by the Ebola virus, outbreaks primarily occur in Africa and have fatality rates as high as 90%. The virus spreads through direct contact with the bodily fluids of infected individuals or contaminated objects. Ebola initially starts showing itself through signs like high fever, fatigue, muscle pain, and sore throat, which quickly progress to vomiting, diarrhea, rash, and impaired kidney and liver function. In severe cases, patients may also suffer internal and external bleeding, leading to shock and death. The main fear surrounding Ebola arises from its development from slight symptoms into more horrific ones. Ebola has had several outbreaks throughout Africa, which causes a layer of immense fear and stigma among the people, with many fearing even casual contact with others. The high contagion risk requires strict isolation of patients and strict infection control measures. During an Ebola outbreak, socialization has almost ceased since the virus can be transmitted even through dead bodies. While there is no specific cure for Ebola, supportive care such as rehydration and recovery of the blood lost can help increase the survival chances. The smallpox. Smallpox was once a horrifying global disease, which has now been eradicated, but its legacy still strikes fear. Caused by the variola virus, smallpox was highly contagious and had a mortality rate of around 30%. The disease started with normal illnesses like fever, malaise, and a heat rash that rapidly grew into fluid-filled blisters and scabs. The worst thing about the infection was that it spread through respiratory droplets and contaminated objects, making it difficult to contain during outbreaks. Surprisingly, the only fear surrounding people regarding the infectious disease was not the rapidly growing death toll, but the everlasting scar it would leave on the patient's body. But the fear was rational, given that the disease killed 30% of the people affected, and the remaining 70% were left with permanent blindness or deep scars all over their skin. People dreaded the sight of its characteristic rash, knowing it meant the start of a deadly and painful illness. Epidemics often led to widespread panic and drastic public health measures, including quarantine and mass vaccination campaigns. The global elimination of smallpox in 1980 was achieved through an intensive vaccination effort led by the World Health Organization. The introduction of vaccines was so gratifying for the world that it is considered the biggest medical achievement of all time. SARS Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome is a viral respiratory illness caused by a coronavirus, first identified in 2003. The outbreak quickly spread globally, infecting over 8,000 people and causing nearly 800 deaths. Similar to other fatal diseases, this also originates from mild beginnings, such as high fever, headache, body aches, and respiratory symptoms like coughing and difficulty breathing. However, do not let that fool you, because the disease spreads through respiratory droplets with person-to-person -person quickly. SARS is one of the very few diseases that are transmitted primarily in healthcare settings. Once again, People fear the infection due to its rapid development and the decaying impact on one's respiratory system. During an outrageous outbreak in October 2003 in China, which infected approximately 64,000 people, 
hospitals were left in a frenzy as they struggled to contain the virus, and strict travel restrictions were imposed to prevent its spread. While there is no specific cure for SARS, supportive care and antiviral treatments can help manage symptoms and increase chances of survival. No new cases have been reported since 2004, but while it lasted, it did have the world on pause for its next fatal move. The avian influenza. Avian influenza, also known as bird flu, is a respiratory illness that usually affects birds, mostly poultry like chickens and turkeys. Think of it as a usual virus with different strains, some mild and others super contagious and deadly. Wild birds, especially waterfowl like ducks and geese, can be silent carriers, spreading it through their droppings and secretions. This is why outbreaks often end with extended migration seasons. While bird flu primarily targets birds, it can jump to humans in rare cases, usually through close contact with infected birds or contaminated areas. People who get bird flu might experience a flu-like punch, ranging from mild to severe symptoms like fever, cough, sore throat, muscle aches, and fatigue. In severe cases, it can be hard to breathe. The good news? The risk of catching bird flu is low for most people. And if you work with poultry or raise birds at home, there are steps you can take to stay safe, primary one being maintaining a safe distance from birds who seem a little lazier than usual. If you are infected with bird flu, then it is best to isolate yourself for the first seven days to prevent it from spreading and regularly intake antiviral medicines. Leprosy. Leprosy, also known as Hansen's disease, is a chronic infection caused by the bacteria Mycobacterium leprae. This ancient disease has been feared for centuries due to its severe impact on the skin, nerves, and respiratory system. Each year, over 200,000 new cases are reported worldwide, with India, Brazil, and Indonesia bearing the brunt of the burden. Leprosy is primarily spread through prolonged close contact with an untreated infected person. Contrary to popular belief, it is not highly contagious. Early symptoms include light or dark skin patches with loss of sensation, which can progress to nerve damage, leading to muscle weakness, paralysis, and permanent disabilities if untreated. One of the most terrifying aspects of leprosy is its ability to disfigure. Advanced cases can cause severe deformities, especially in the hands, feet, and face. While effective treatment exists using a combination of antibiotics known as multidrug therapy, MDT, Social stigma and lack of awareness continue to block early diagnosis and treatment. Despite its reputation, leprosy is curable, and early treatment can prevent most complications. The global effort to eliminate leprosy continues, but the fight is far from over. Rabbit fever. Rabbit fever, or tularemia, is a highly infectious disease caused by the bacterium Francisella tularensis, found across the Northern Hemisphere. Tularemia typically spreads through contact with infected animals, particularly rabbits, or through bites from infected ticks, deer flies, and mosquitoes. Each year, hundreds of cases are reported in the United States, mostly in rural areas. Tularemia can present in various forms, depending on how the bacteria enters the body. Symptoms can appear within three to five days and range from skin ulcers and swollen lymph nodes to severe respiratory issues. The most common form of rabbit fever involves skin sores and swollen glands. Inhalation of the bacteria can lead to pneumonic tularemia, a severe form with a high mortality rate if untreated. The bacterium is so strong that even a tiny number of organisms can cause severe illness. If left untreated, tularemia can be fatal, but with timely use of antibiotics, the prognosis is generally good. Individuals living in high-risk areas include using insect repellent, wearing protective clothing, and avoid contact with wild animals. Lausborn Relapsing Fever Lausborn relapsing fever is a frightening disease, spreading through lice in areas with poor living conditions. Caused by the Borrelia recurrentis bacteria, this illness has historically caused major outbreaks during wars and famines, claiming as many as 5 million lives. People with LBRF suffer from recurring episodes of high fever, severe muscle pain, and intense headaches. These fever spikes can reach up to 106 degrees Fahrenheit and last for days, only to disappear and return again. Each cycle leaves the victim weaker and more fearful. Without proper treatment, up to 40% of those infected can die, making it one of the deadliest types of relapsing fever. The horror doesn't stop there. The bacteria can attack the nervous system, causing confusion, hallucinations, and even coma. 
In places lacking adequate medical care, LBRF remains a deadly threat, especially in the malnourished areas in Africa, showing the severe consequences of neglect and poverty. If we don't take action, this terrifying disease could make a comeback and spread fear globally as it did in the late 90s. Toxic Shock Syndrome Toxic Shock Syndrome, TSS, is a rare but life-threatening condition caused by bacterial toxins, primarily Staphylococcus aureus and sometimes Streptococcus pyogenes. It gained notoriety in the 1980s due to its association with tampon use, but it can also arise from skin wounds, surgery, or other infections. Annually, around 1 in 100,000 people in the U.S. are affected, with women accounting for most cases due to menstrual-related TSS. TSS symptoms can escalate rapidly, making early recognition critical. Initial signs include sudden high fever, low blood pressure, vomiting, diarrhea, and a sunburn-like rash. As the condition progresses, it can lead to severe complications such as shock, kidney failure, and multi-organ dysfunction. The bacteria releases toxins that trigger an overwhelming immune response, leading to widespread inflammation and tissue damage. Without immediate treatment, which includes antibiotics, fluids, and supportive care, TSS can be fatal. Preventative care is essential, such as using the lowest absorbency tampons, changing tampons frequently, and alternating with sanitary pads. For non-menstrual TSS, proper wound care and hygiene are crucial. Brain-eating amoeba. The brain-eating amoeba, scientifically known as Nagleria fowleri, is a rare but deadly organism found in warm, fresh water. The microscopic killer can cause a brain infection called primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, PAM, which is almost always fatal. In the United States, only about 150 cases have been reported over the past 60 years, but the survival rate is less than 3%. Nagleria fowleri typically infects people when contaminated water enters the nose, often while swimming in warm lakes or rivers. Once inside, the amoeba travels to the brain, destroying brain tissue and causing severe inflammation. Symptoms appear within one to nine days and include headache, fever, nausea, and vomiting, rapidly progressing to seizures, hallucinations, and coma. The disease progresses so quickly that most patients die within a week of symptom onset. Despite its rarity, the horror of PAM lies in its rapid and aggressive nature. Current treatments are largely ineffective, and the condition is almost always fatal once symptoms begin. To keep yourself from catching this lethal disease, it is advised to avoid water-related activities in warm, fresh water during peak temperatures and use nose clips or hold the nose shut when diving or swimming. Rabies Rabies is a viral disease that causes inflammation of the brain in humans and other mammals. The rabies virus is typically transmitted through the bite of a rabid animal with dogs being the most common source in countries where rabies is widespread. Each year, rabies kills about 59,000 people worldwide, primarily in Africa and Asia. Early symptoms of rabies are nonspecific, including fever, headache, and general weakness. As the disease progresses, neurological symptoms appear, such as agitation, anxiety, confusion, excessive salivation, and hydrophobia, fear of water. Once clinical symptoms appear, rabies is almost always fatal. Vaccination can prevent rabies if identified soon after exposure. But once symptoms develop, there is no effective treatment. The disease progresses rapidly, leading to paralysis, coma, and death within days to weeks. Preventing rabies involves vaccinating pets, avoiding contact with wild animals, and seeking immediate medical care after potential exposure. While rabies is rare in developed countries due to successful vaccination programs, it remains a major threat in many parts of the world. Which of these diseases do you find most terrifying? The comment section awaits all your questions. For more interesting videos, click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. You don't want to miss anything. See you in the next video. Thank you.